Three-time Premiership coach John Kennedy Sr. has been elevated to legend status in the Australian Football Hall of Fame. Kennedy is most famous for his don't think, do speech in the 1975 VFL Grand Final and he becomes the 29th legend in the game's history. The most revered honour in Australian rules football, one of the game's greatest coaches is now officially a legend. How do you come up with a, a different speech that they haven't heard before? <laughs> Uh, you've got to think of a thousand different ways of saying the same thing. John Kennedy Sr. now sits alongside the greatest names in the sport's history. He certainly isn't out of place. Run until you drop. The psychological limit is a lot closer than the physical limit. Remember when you're tired and you think you can't go any further, you can. Do it and see how you go. Kennedy coached Hawthorne to their first ever premiership in 1961. He led the Hawks on 299 occasions, culminating in his final match in charge, a victory in the 1976 grand final. He coached North Melbourne for five years in the late 80s, but his heart always remained at Hawthorne. So much so, he barracked against his own grandson in two grand finals. And he still to this day said uh, that he, he still was hoping Hawthorne would win and, and Josh was best on the ground. And I, I felt that was sitting on the fence. You know, <laughs> but he did genuinely want Hawthorne to win, which, which just shows the, the, the extent that he loves that football club. While he's remembered for his coaching feats, Kennedy won four best and fairest as a player, though he's always been modest about his playing career. My friends say that they saw me play and it wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> That's about the best description I could give, I think. Only Alistair Clarkson has coached Hawthorne more times. Kennedy coached the Hawks to five grand finals and three premierships. His speech in the 1975 decider, the most famous in Australian football history. And at least do something! Do! Don't think, Mick! Don't hope! Do! At least you can come off and say, I did this! Or I shivered it! Or I played on! At least I did something! For the sake of the side. Do! Act! Don't think, act! Eye on the ball! I'm game enough to tell you to do it. Are you game enough to back me up? Kennedy's words are legendary, but they're not what he wanted to be defined by. Don't talk too much. Set the example by your actions. I referred to it often, spectator agenda. Let us be judged by our actions. A winner or a loser, that's all there is to it. It's a mantra that's still felt at Hawthorne. There is a foundation. It's, it's about doing and not, not just saying. And, uh, and that was his ethos, predominantly, that you, your actions speak louder than words. And then he does, he has followed that ethos through his whole life. That's the foundation, you know, that uh, we are known by our actions and, um, and every player is expected at Hawthorne to, to um, do what they say. Actions over words, don't think, do. You've got to have a go. If you don't have a go, you're coming off the ground. I'll finish with 15 men, but we'll have blokes who are having a go. Justin Edwards, Fox Sports News.